Hi, I'm Rich. Building an electric bike, part two, the forks. Let's do it. First we need the frame. Then some more steel. Here's a three meter long section. Now we just need to cut it in two. Sweet. So the setup I'm gonna run is with the two upright tubes, I'm gonna weld them together with two flat bar plates, put a hole in the middle, run a bolt through that hole up to the pivot point, weld that pivot point to the frame, giving me steering. Then I'm gonna bend the handlebars down, tilt them forwards a bit, and I'll be good to go. Now let's find me that steering housing. Now we've got our steering assembly, we need some flat bar. This is 5mm thick stainless steel, 60mm wide, and this is what's going to hold the down tubes to the front wheel to rotate around the front of the frame. What I'm cutting out now are the slots that will just fit around the down tube. I'll later be welding these up. Now we've got the slots in the flat bar cut out, let's make the first bend in the handlebars and see how it's going to fit together. Just going to get me WD-40, spray it on the tube, bit in the die, some on the roller. Don't be shy. For the storm to come on. There we go, first bend done. I uh, just want to say to lubricate it every single time, I use WD-40, it creates way less friction and makes it way easier to bend it around the die. Um, brilliant, now let's do number two. How did it come to this where I'm waiting, waiting for the storm to come home? How can I tell This setup is basically how it'll go. Again, it's going to pivot on here. So what's going to hold this in place is there's going to be a bolt going through these plates, through this, and this will be welded onto the frame. So that's how the forks will pivot. So now I need to put the holes in the flat bars for the bolt to go through. And for that, I'm just going to be using some water as a coolant, as this is stainless steel, so it is very hard to drill. So that water will keep the drill bits cool stop them getting blunt and allow them to easily drill through the stainless steel. And now we're just going to use a step drill to make that 4mm hole up to our 12mm. From the edges where I'm waiting Waiting for the storm to come home The last bends I'm going to do is just one on either side of the steering housing just above it around here and that's just going to bring the handlebars up to a nice relaxed uh, a relaxed height whilst riding. 
It's like a shadow The way it follows me Well, I'm waiting Waiting for the song to come home Yeah How can I tell to tell you, baby, what's going on inside, well, I'm not being honest with myself. So I've just welded up the forks, so they're nice and sturdy, and now I'm welding the pivot point to the frame. Now because this is a cylinder with ball bearings, grease, and lots of moving parts inside, what I'm going to do is weld it in lots of little bursts, therefore it's not going to get too hot and warp the cylinder. And now I've done that and it fits all nicely, let's cut the forks down. What I'm doing here is cutting down this tube so the plate that holds the wheel shaft can slot in nicely and also give it a bit more strength as well as looking better. So now we just need to cut out them plates which I'm using a grinder for and that'll cut the slot out to fit around the wheel shaft. How can I tell you? There's two things left to do on the forks. First of all, I'm just going to mount a little bar here and that's just going to be to sit the computer screen on that powers the bike's electronics. Next of all, I'm going to cut the handlebars down for length. I'm going to leave them a little bit longer than intended for now and that's just going to be until I get the brake levers and the hand grips and things like that and then I can cut them down to exactly how long they need to be. Now I'm just going to cut these corners off to improve the look and also increase the turning radius. So I've got my frame from part one with the addition of the steering mechanism. Now I've got my forks. And it's now a rideable bike, wicked. Next video will show me adding in the motor to get this bad boy into an electric bike. Thanks for watching, and if you want to check out the other parts to this series, you can click the link now. <laughs>